So juggling, <laughs> he's snorting and it's so funny. Juggling work and different activities often means having to leave our dogs at home by themselves. For many dogs, that alone time results in separation anxiety. Certified canine behavior consultant Kathy Madsen of Preventive Vet is here with science to look for and what professionals use to address the condition. Good to see you and your friend Marshall. Yes, Marshall Mann is joining us today. <laughs> <laughs> He's been so good, but there have been some snorts that have made me want to snort along with them. Comes with the Frenchie breed. Comes for sure. with the Frenchie. <laughs> All right, so canine separation anxiety is a problem for pets, and it can also be a problem for humans yeah. because we know our dogs are suffering if we've left them and they have this problem. Right. So we really need to address it. Yes? Yeah, and it's a really big problem. One in seven dogs has separation that's anxiety. Lot. Yeah, it's that's about 13 million dogs just in the U.S. alone, and it's really tough for Aww. the owners. Look at the dog. Yeah. Yeah, and it's really tough because a lot of people, they come home to destroyed homes, mm. they're chewing through the walls, they're howling all, all day long, and so neighbors are complaining. Yes. People get evicted because of separation anxiety symptoms. It's a really big deal, and if you, you, know, if you work all day, mm -hmm. it's something that you have to think about in terms of your dog and their access to company and all of that. Right. So let's just talk about, you mentioned some of them, but some of the signs to look for. Right. We all know dogs will chew something now and then, that's, that's one thing, but we're looking at this video that kind of yeah, and tells so us more. The things that happen with separation anxiety, we can tell they're from anxiety because they really tend to happen only when you're gone. Mm -hmm. um, so things like excessive barking where they can't calm down while you're gone. Chewing escape behaviors, especially when you're seeing destructive behaviors so around the door. Trying to get door. out of the cage, yes. or out of a door. Or destroying things like the mattress, like you can see really? with the beagle there. <sighs> um, but other smaller symptoms that people might not realize, excessive greetings when you get home, kind of like they're in a panic. Potty mm -hmm. accidents in an otherwise house trained dog, that's another big sign. Or even self harm, licking themselves till they're bleeding. A lot of dogs will wow. do that as well because they're so stressed out. It's like having a panic attack. For humans, dogs Those are going through that same babies. thing. So if you think your dog is going through separation anxiety, what's step one? Step one is you really want to connect with your veterinarian and then also a certified dog trainer or behavior consultant. Having that support group, that team around you mm -hmm. to help you through it is really important and will mean more success for you. Um, on our website, preventivet.com, we have a great resource that actually goes through the different symptoms if you think your dog might have it to rate the severity level. You can ask your neighbors, you can set up video monitoring of your mm -hmm. dog when they're home alone to get an idea of what their symptoms are right. and how bad they are and then that quiz will take you through and talk about other possible reasons your dog might be barking um, or underlying medical conditions that could be really contributing to the anxiety um, but you want to connect <laughs> with the trainer is, is <laughs> just really telling us what's up he right is, now and he has separation anxiety that we've been working on yeah, with great well, success and the thing of it is it's the dog's happiness and mental health yes. I and mean, you really do need to do something and your quiz yeah. is such a good way to start just getting a, a quantitative assessment of what's going on with the dog so we know what to do. So you brought some things today that may help and you know you can kind of go up from here but these are good ways to start. I, yeah I and it. so what a trainer is going to start you with is figuring out some management options. Um, a lot of these things aren't necessarily what we would consider treatment. They're not going to solve the anxiety on their own. They're going to make your dog feel better when they're alone. They're going to manage the symptoms and help them feel calmer but it's not going to resolve the anxiety. So a lot of people have heard about um, anxiety wraps or mm -hmm. dog appeasing pheromones, so like the Oops. spray <laughs> that we the brought dog along. Has a thunder shirt on. Yes, yeah, so those can really help calm them down with that the pressure along their body mm -hmm. and those pressure it's like points. Like a hug. Exactly. So that can help a lot of dogs, especially like you mentioned, a dog with noise anxiety and thunder phobia. Mm -hmm. Those really help with those. that anxiety, yep. but can also help in some cases with separation anxiety. Other management include things like leaving stuffed Kongs out for them, mm -hmm. interactive toys that keep them busy while you're gone. Exactly. But what a trainer And things really that last a while, exactly, right? Exactly. You don't yeah. want it just a treat because they'll. <laughs> Whoa, Marshall! <laughs> Marshall just took a tumble. He's like, I'm a gymnast. Come on. But yeah, you can stuff a Kong with some wet food, um, some treats, and freeze it to make it last a really long oh, time for idea. when you go. So that way they're not done with it like in one or two minutes right. after you leave. And then they're right back to where they were. Exactly. What is this? The Calmer Canine Anxiety so Treatment. So this is device. something I'm really excited. So yes, definitely. See? And you can even With take this, this off. 
Um, what this is, is it's a drug-free option. So mm -hmm. a lot of my clients, when they're dealing with anxiety, they want to stay away from pharmaceuticals and the prescription meds, which in all honesty can be really helpful for a lot of cases. And some dogs need it. And some dogs need it in order for the actual treatment of behavior modification, and big words here, counter conditioning, mm -hmm. desensitization, that a certified trainer is going to start you on to treat the anxiety. Prescriptions can help, but I'm excited about this drug-free option now. What that's, is this? This is targeted electromagnetic magnetic pulse technology. Do you so feel you don't when feel it's it. It's on now. You can see it blinking. Yeah. Um, and what this does is it's targeting right. the amygdala in the brain. So the amygdala is that anxiety center, really? the emotional center, and it's bringing all the can chemicals. I, get one of these? I know, right? Just hold it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> but it's bringing that Oops. brain chemicals into balance and helping the dog stay what we call under threshold. So they're able to cope with you leaving much better, which then means your treatment, the behavior modification you're doing, sticks in their brain better and they learn faster. This actually works. Yes, there's some great studies behind it. Their pilot study from Calmer Canine had some wonderful results that got me really excited. It's based on FDA clear technology used in humans for anxiety issues, depression, and all of those. So um, Harvard University did a great study um, for people with depression and saw this technology really, really help those people out. And so Calmer Canine brought it into the dog world. That is just amazing. Yeah. Is Marshall doing well with his program? He is. So he started on Calmer Canine Treatment, and his mom didn't even really know how bad his anxiety was when she was gone. So if you go to our website, we have some great topics on how to set up video monitoring. And mm -hmm. once she did, she was like, oh my gosh, I need to work on this. It's way worse than I thought, and I feel awful. Right? And so she started on Calmer Canine, combined it with some basic counter conditioning. When she left, something good would be there, and he's doing much better that already. That's so great. We want them to be happy, yes. and we have to know how they're doing when we're gone. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's very helpful.